So today I'm going to share with you a rookie writing mistake I almost just made and a writing mistake that I see a lot of people making. I just actually, the fact that I just made, oh, almost made this mistake made me realize how much of a problem this is with the writers that I work with and um, just in what I'm seeing in, in my industry and in my work. So I wanted to share that with you guys for this delayed Black Writer Wednesday. Uh, but before we dive into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Kristen Iris Johnson and I am a film producer, a writer, a consultant, and a pleasure activist. And what I do is I help black writers, filmmakers, and creatives to amplify their voice, to improve and boost their creativity, and to make a bigger impact through different writing tips, different filmmaking tips, and also by exploring pleasure. So what we're gonna talk about today is the rookie writing mistake that I almost just made, and this is really, really, really important. So if you know somebody who's a writer, definitely make sure that you share this video with them because this is something that will help you. Now, um, let me set the stage. So I got an idea a couple of days ago for a thriller that I um, am now like currently working out the story and developing. So I'm working out the details of the plot, I'm working through like the beat sheet and the different beats, and uh, I just finished, I, I, fin I just finished working out act one and was about to go into act two and was like, pause. Because the thing that I have not done is I have not really gotten clear on my characters. I have not done any character breakdowns. And this is a step that a lot of writers skip. We get so focused on the story. What's the story? What's happening? What's the plot? How do we make it exciting? How do we make it intriguing? How do we make it blah, blah, blah? How do we make it saucy? How do we make it sexy, right? Because that's all the stuff that's like gonna attract your viewers and attract your producers and make them wanna, wanna make your movie. But if you don't really know your characters, there are a lot of problems that will start showing up in your story. One, your characters and your plots if you don't have a clear idea of your characters and how they are distinct, what their history is, what their passions are, what they care about, a lot of the stuff that doesn't even show up on camera, when you don't have a clear idea of those things, your characters will start to do things that don't make sense. Like you'll be so focused on, I want this plot thing to happen or this plot thing to happen, or this is an exciting thing. And you'll start throwing plot stuff in there to make it exciting or to make the story go where you want, but that don't actually make sense with the characters that you've established. So you start to have these kind of plot holes that you're, even though you're trying to put in different plot things and trying to work out the plot, you'll start to have plot holes or inconsistencies because the, the things that are happening don't actually make sense with your characters. So that's one of the things that happens. The other thing is like when you start getting blocked on the story and what do I do? A lot of people are like, well, what can happen here? What I actually teach writers is that when you're blocked on what, what should I do with the story? Where should it go? Like what should happen next is go back to your character. What's your character thinking? What are they feeling? What is, um, what is, what would your character really do here? You can't answer those questions if you don't really know who your characters are. Right? You have to have an integral understanding of them in a much deeper way than what we're going to see on screen because all the stuff that we don't see on screen, the things about their history, their relationships, the things that they care about, all of that stuff actually informs the way that they do show up on screen. It informs the way that you write them on the page, which then informs the director and everybody else on how to bring these characters to life and this story to life. So when you get stuck on plot, People will go to trying to fix the plot or throwing in like, well, what's an exciting thing that can happen instead of looking at what makes sense for the character? What would the character do? What's going to drive the character? What's going to be a conflict for the character? What's going to get in the character's way? What's going to drive the stakes up for the character? That's the stuff that's going to really make your story exciting because the truth is your character is the heart of your story. Your characters are the people that your audience relate to. They're the people, they're the part of the story that your audience is, you know, they're the human element. Your audience is gonna connect to them. So you have to really understand your characters to bring them to life in a fully human way. And when you bring them to life in a fully human way, that is what really brings your audience in, right? So it's not just about, I wanna tell this story, I want this character on screen, or I want these exciting things to happen. It's how do you also bring your audience into this experience 
because when it sticks with the audience, that's what really that's what really makes a difference, right? That's what really makes your story stand out is like your audience is like, yeah, I'm into this. So when I was doing this story that, you know, this idea that I just got, this thriller that I'm working on, I'm like, I'm thinking about the plot, thinking about the plot. And I knew yesterday I was like, you know what? I need to stop working on this beach sheet and I need to do the character breakdowns. But then I got like another idea of like this other character and these dynamics that came in. And so I was trying to like take those notes and write them down. And that's when I was like, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now that I got those notes down, I really, really, really have to pause. I have to go to these characters because I have to understand their history, their connections, their passions, their flaws, their strengths, so that I can really flesh out a story that is full and that makes sense, that has that human element that is enticing and that is really going to intrigue the viewers and also any producers or networks that might read the script and be like, yeah, I want to I want to put this on screen. Right. That's what you want is you want people to want to put it on screen. But to do that, you have to have a full story. So I paused like my next step. I actually paused so that I could do this live. And now my next step is going to be to really dive into the characters and getting and getting the characters really defined and really clear because that's going to inform where my story goes. That's the thing that people miss. They, they think plot, plot, plot but your characters actually drive the plot. Your characters inform the plot. What's gonna make it more challenging for them? What would they do here? What's their weakness that is gonna play against them? What's their thing that they have to overcome? All of that stuff is what really drives the story. Now, I will say that I have noticed in a lot of the scripts that I, because I, I have done script reviews before, um, really, really detailed reviews and giving feedback, but in a lot of the scripts that I come across, um, one of the consistent problems or issues that I see is I can't get a good grip of your character, right? Like that's one of the things like your character's doing this, but then they're doing this and it doesn't really make sense. It's conflicting. And that causes, um, it, it, it makes it hard for your audience to connect with them and it makes it seem like, well, these things are happening in the story just out of convenience or to make it exciting, but they don't really make sense with the characters. So that's an issue. Another thing that I've noticed, um, and this actually happened with the script that we were working on is we made all these changes to the plot and then consistent feedback that we got from people who read it were, I can't really get a grip on your main character. Like, is she this, is she that? Like, she's just kind of all over the place. And that's what happened is we sort of we sort of lost the main character and we lost who the main character was because we were so focused on the plot and making the plot exciting. And so we kind of lost this character and we're like, we got to like relearn who the fuck this person is so that we can bring them forward on the page. And that's one of like that will that will be the feedback that you get. So that's one of the things that can happen is people will be like, I don't really understand your character. Like they're kind of all over the place. I can't really get a good grip on them. If people can't get a good grip on your character, they're not going to relate to them. They're not going to understand what they're doing and they're going to disconnect from the story. The other thing that I've noticed in um, some of the scripts that I have reviewed is that I'll I'll read it and or, or I shouldn't say scripts. Um, in like treatments or in summaries, I'll read it and I'll be like, I don't really know what's happening here because there's not really much happening. And that seems like it doesn't have to do with character, but it actually does. Because when you don't really know who your characters are, you can't really put them in situations. It's like you'll have certain actions or certain things, but then like a whole bunch of missing stuff. So for example, I recently read a treatment where um, the main character, like when it got to like act two, when I was reading act two part of the treatment, the main character kind of like disappeared for most of it. I was like, well, well, what is she doing? Like, this is a thriller. These things are happening and we're following these other characters. But like your main character, just she was there in the beginning and then we don't see her until the end of act two going into act three. And I think that was an issue of like not really knowing who the characters were. So they're thinking about this is happening, this is happening, this is happening, and we want to track that. But what's your main character doing? When you know your main character, it's easy to be like, oh, this is what my main character is doing at this time and to put those things in. You're not going to lose track of different characters because you know what's driving them. You know what part they play in the story and how they're moving it forward. So it can be different issues that are coming up. It can be character issues that like your character is getting lost. It can be plot issues that like your story is kind of going all over the place or like it's not, it's not being, it's, um, it's not really following the characters because you don't really know who your characters are. So really getting to know your characters is like fundamental 
to writing a good story, whether it is a script or a book or a play. You have to know who your characters are and work out your characters before you even get into working out the plot. Like you can have a general idea of the plot, but work out your characters first. Um, recently, me and a friend of mine started developing a TV series. We brought a team of writers together to start developing it. And it was very quick and very grueling doing these development meetings and getting getting the this season one together but it was also very smooth aside from having like an excellent team like we put together an excellent team the first thing we started with was characters who are these characters what's their history what's what's the world that they're in because it was it's actually a um a supernatural story so we had to kind of shape the world but we had to lay that foundation to understand what's happening because those foundational pieces actually guide the action they guide the plot they create the structure of the world that you're building um and that has a lot to do with character i mean yes we were world building like understanding like what is the magic system etc but really we were getting into who are these characters where are they from what's their history what's the thing that they're struggling with and that really helped us to understand, well, this is what this person's struggling with. This is the action they're going to take. This is how they're going to handle the situation and start putting them in situations that make sense, that create conflict, that have stakes, but that also have them overcoming and accomplishing. And so I feel really, really strong about our season one and what we've put together. But the reason for that is because we started from the beginning before we even got into what's happening in each of the episodes is who are these people and how are they connected? What are they doing and what is this world that they're in? You have to set that foundation. If you just focus on plot, 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 I promise you the plot's going to fall apart. I am, and I am a, I am really good at being like, at poking holes, being like, you see this hole over here? You see this hole? I'm going to stick my finger in it. There's a hole in your plot. I am so good at that. Like, I will tear a script apart. Like, don't come to me if you, if you are sensitive and you can't handle getting, like, and you're going to have your feelings in it. Okay, take your feelings out of it because I will tear a script up and be like, here are all the things that I'm seeing that don't make sense and here's how to fix it. Okay. But that happens because people don't start with the foundation. And that foundation is your characters. It is the world that they are living in. If you're, if you're world building, but it is the characters, it is their history, it is their personality, it is their strengths, their weaknesses, their flaws, their goals, and their obstacles. And those are the things that are going to shape your plot and really bring your story to life. So, I hope this is helpful for you. If you guys want a little bit more, I have a free video training. Oh no, it won't paste. Um, I have a free video training called Three Keys to Writing a um, stellar, stellar Story or uh, three, three Keys to Writing a Powerful Story. Sometimes I just kind of like change up the name a little bit, but you can go to kristenirs.com slash the number three keys to go get it. It is free. You just got to go and sign up and it will take you directly to the video training that will take you through the three keys. One of them is character um, and the, the three keys and how they play against each other to really give you a strong story that is going to entice your readers or producers if you're writing a script, producers, network, whoever it is that you want to be making your your script into a movie. So you can go get that. You can also click the link in my bio if you are on Instagram and you can get it there. And yes, thank you to writing a stellar story. Three keys to writing a stellar, a stellar story. So um, kristenirs.com slash three, the number three keys. You can go download it for free and let me know what you get out of that. And if there's something in there that you're like, oh, this is what I've been missing in my writing. And uh, let me know what changes when you start incorporating all three of those things and making sure that they work together. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Please make sure that you share this with anybody that you think could be, uh, can benefit from it and make sure that you follow me on instagram and if you are watching this on youtube make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you get more videos for black writers filmmakers and creatives and i will see you guys on the next live thanks for jumping on